How to market a photography business. I got a great question from one of my readers. Love you guys. Carice, who wrote in to say, I'm a photographer. I don't know how to get started and how to bring my product to people and show its value, and especially in a market where everyone thinks they're a photographer. This is a great question and one that I feel for you because photography is such a difficult business. There's so many people who say they're a photographer and you're not up against only other photographers, but also, People say, oh, you know, my cousin Jill can do that or my nephew can take care of that. There's not a lot of respect by a lot of people for photography. So how do you demonstrate your value and market yourself? I love an example that I'm gonna share of a friend of mine, his name is Rich. He runs a company called You Gotta Love. He's a highly successful photographer and I wanted to share some lessons from him, tell his story that will hopefully help you market and grow your photography business as well. So the first part is stand for something. You have to stand for something. The problem with photography businesses are that it's so hard to tell what's different from you versus everybody else. Everybody looks the same. So if I'm looking at you versus 10 other photographers, why should I pick you over everybody else? What's the reason? And why should I pay you more if you're charging $2,000, $5,000, whatever it is, why should I pay you that versus having somebody who's coming in and say 150 bucks or my nephew who'll do it for free? How do you show that value? So the first part is standing for something, okay? So Rich stands for inspire. For him, he likes taking inspirational pictures. He loves making inspirational videos. Everything is about inspire for him. The pictures that he wants to take the clients he works best with are the people who want inspirational pictures. Pictures that make them look good. You look at the picture and you feel inspired. That's what he wants to make. So it helps people not only identify which company to go with, which is hopefully you, but also tells them who not to go with. So if you want a boring corporate photo shoot, you're not gonna go with Rich. It won't appeal to you. You're gonna look at his site and say, wow, this is so not for me, which is great. You don't want those people. Rich doesn't want those people. But when somebody wants an inspirational photo shoot and they look at his website and they compare it to everybody else, and wow, I want that guy. That's exactly what I want. And I'm willing to pay a premium for it. So you have to stand for something important to help make you stand out from everybody else because you're boring. So many photography businesses are just boring. You meld one into another into another and it's impossible to tell the difference between them. Okay, stand for something. Number two, pick a niche. You want to find a niche that you love working with. Again, that will help you stand out from everybody else. Who is an ideal client for you? Who do you love working with? You have a passion for, and it's outside of photography. You love these kinds of people. So for Rich, he loves working with celebrities. He loves working with celebrities. He does really well with them. He makes them feel comfortable, at ease, and they love working with him. Some people hate working with celebrities. They say they're egotistical, they're, they're big you know, problem clients, I hate working with these guys, but Rich has a knack for it and he loves it. That's what he thrives on. He shot you know, Lady Gaga, Cardinal Fischel, a whole bunch of musicians. He just loves working with celebrities. And that comes across in his work and he ends up getting referrals and repeat business because of it. Who do you love working with? Pick a niche and be that person. So say you love, I'll pick one for me, I love baseball. Say you love baseball. You could be the baseball photographer. Anytime a baseball player wanted a photo shoot, you're gonna be the person to go to. If they look on your website and they see you stand for something important like Inspire and you love baseball players, there's no choice, right? That's why they're gonna pay you $5,000 for a photo shoot instead of $500 for the next guy because you are the guy who they love to work with. You love baseball and you stand for something that they believe in as well. And you, you're gonna have more fun. You're gonna have more fun doing it because you're working with people who you love to work with. So pick a niche. Again, you have to stand out from all the other photography businesses that are out there. Third strategy is partner up. So Rich, Again, he's trying to target celebrities, musicians. He works through agencies. So a lot of agencies will recommend him because they need new cover work for their CD that they're launching or they need new, new you know, face shots, head shots for their, their upcoming acts. And they know that Rich is the guy to go to. So instead of selling to customers one at a time, he works in partnership with agencies who they can refer him businesses 
our companies to work with, our artists to work with every week, right? They keep just funneling him new business. So you want to think about once you've def you, once you've defined who your target audience is. Right, so if it's baseball players or musicians or whoever it is, think about who is already selling to them and how can you make an introduction to them. Because the easiest way to grow your business is to partner up with somebody who already has your target market and find a way to work together. Okay? If you do those three things, okay, you're standing for something important, you're finding a niche that means something to you and you're partnering up with people in that industry, you are on path to build a highly successful photography business that will now finally make you stand out, help demonstrate your value, and help make you start earning the money that you deserve to make. Believe. For those of you watching like the video, thumbs up below. Let me know what you think. Leave a comment underneath. Ask me a question, make a video response. And if you want to see more videos like this, click on my face to subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much. I'll see you soon.